So, I feel like the question is a valid one, but I want to open with something else. One of the things that I've envisioned since I got involved in SSDP was to see a chapter of SSDP at every state school in this country. And that's something that I really, really want to see in the next five years of SSDP. And in my mind, the first thing that needs to happen is, it was touched upon by a few people, but state level communication, getting people working together and understanding of the issues all over the state so that everybody can campaign together to make change at the state level, which I, I was appointed state coordinator by John Perry in December 2010 and helped uh, actually change some votes at the state level. And I feel like uh, the state coordinator program, while it's on hiatus right now, is something that I believe that should come back and is really something that would help increase efficiency in everything that's been going on. So one of the things that I think would be most important would be for us to focus on job placement. Um, at least as a current college student, I'm very, very concerned about what's going to happen to me after when I graduate. I think the majority of people in this room are. And I know that the alumni newsletter has put out a lot of really great information about jobs that are open. Unfortunately, the majority of them are internships, which most of us you know, kind of have enough of at this point. <laughs> We've been doing two and a half years to three, four years of uh, free work and that kind of takes a toll on you. So I think that if we do build better alliances where we are able to more effectively place you know, students within, at the very least, nonprofit work, either in their state or in the country, preferably, of course, drug policy, I think it would really help us, especially since you know, a well-working a well former SSDP student is a future donor, and it's alumni, which will help us. Okay. It's oh. not happening. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because I'm from another country, but I think the, the main issue to me is communication. Because we need to communicate well, to understand each other, to, to work together in what we have in common. Maybe there are a lot of differences, but uh, we have a lot in common too. So, so I think that's the main important well, the most important part to me. But fundraising is needed to, to achieve this. We, we can only work like, well, I just realized like yesterday that we need uh, a lot more money to, to bring more people from other places here and now. And, and then, well, that's it, uh, communication and fundraising, I think. <coughs> Uh, yeah, also being an international member, I see the importance of communication. Um, I mean, it's it's fine for me to be here today uh, once annually, you know, that's, that's fine. I want to go back to Ireland, which I know I'll help everyone, but we need to have proper um, system that we can communicate week in, week out, that we're up to date on what's going on in the US. The US are up to date with what's going on internationally, and we can work together. Uh, funny, yes, thanks. Uh, there's been a lot of a lot of really good ideas so far, and I think um, you know two that I, I think are really important are uh, reaching out to diverse communities and the Colorado Initiative. But I think the first policy that that I would really push as well is to really try to expand the chapter base. Um, I, I think you know some of the some of the thoughts in terms of grad schools, um, in terms of the South, but even just in terms of I mean there's there's no chapter at uh, at Georgetown undergrad, um, which is sort of bizarre. And you know, I think there's what you know, 400 of us here, and, and you know, we have a lot of power as as 400 of us. But um, you know, if there were five or ten times more of us here, we would have that much more power. And uh, you know, I think that's going to be uh, really important as well. Kind of got a mixed answer. Everyone kind of touched on a lot of really important things. Communication is definitely uh, something that needs to take priority. Um, a regional communication, international communication, uh, definitely very important. Supporting the Colorado Initiative uh, by either doing phone banking or actually having students go into Colorado to uh, support the campaign directly is, is a very good thing. And also, like I said, creating this, this network uh, for people, for chapter members and leaders who want to educate their campus. Uh, I'm going to keep hitting on that, I guess. I think it's really important because I have I talked to a lot of chapter members and leaders who kind of feel overwhelmed by the process of event planning, uh, putting these things together. Um, and I think if we provide that kind of support um, through maybe filling out a form at the end of an event with what you did well, what you didn't do well, advertising, speaker, communication, things like that, we have a network there. I think that there's going to be a lot more education on campus, and that's a really important thing, uh, especially for campuses where there's a lot of stereotyping of the chapters. It's absolutely important that we increase uh, not only our, our chapter base, but our member base. And I think in order to do that, we need to show individuals who are not yet really familiar 
with um, drug policy reform movement and SSDP, that SSDP can be a really important block uh, in going on to your future career. I and mean, this is not only for just individuals who are looking to go into drug policy reform, but individuals who are interested largely in criminal justice policy reform in law school and things like that, to show individuals that SSDP as an activist organization um, is a building block and can really give you a lot of skills that you otherwise could not have learned um, while in college. So what I would do as a, a board member or, a, or my cause would be to work with our, our partners uh, in the employment level um, and above to see what skill sets they need in people entering the job field and how we can um, provide opportunities for chapters and chapter members to gain those valuable skill sets so they can be important activists as they move on through their careers.